I would like to give you a little bit of an introduction to the workshop that we experienced back then. 20 years ago, 15, 10 years ago, we actually put down on paper a lot of things that we could not realize. There were lots of new starts. Uh, we invented and then reinvented things along with Elamir. And one of my wonderful friends, who was also a good friend of Elamir, family, because of a family uh, problem, he had to stay. Uh, but he left, uh, he sent me uh, his, his text and allowed me to read some excerpts of it. So, to the memory of Elamir Hankish, we are now remembering a scientist and a thinker who was looking for the truth during all kinds of social explosions and transitions and changes. He retained the freedom of his spirit, uh, consequences, and depth. He finally got to the truth, but he didn't do this in order to become wealthy or powerful. It might be a good feeling for those who were friends of his because we could understand each other. It was a wonderful time that we spent at the Institute of Sociology. We always found uh, a shared root and we always uh, valued and honored the others. First, he uh, dealt with literature and then with social issues, but then he arrived uh, in the square of philosophy. And from literature, he transferred his interest to, uh, in society. In 1985, he um, developed the concept of two Hungaries. In this concept, he summarized theories um, which were developed by a very a large number of uh, famous Hungarians, including the poet Berzsenyi, the politi politician Széchenyi, uh, and Kossuth. And um, he sort of described a kind of personal truth. He said that every nation has a kind of capitalism as its feudalism was. But Elamir did not just put down statements. He wanted to take action as well. He wanted to change the public mindset. And later, after the transition into democracy, this is why he announced and introduced uh, the, the, the movement of let's invent Hungary. He was not perfectly understood, and he extended this concept to the whole world. And his dual civil feudalistic society was uncertainty itself. That's what he thought. So he divided the world into periphery and semi-periphery, and obviously Hungary belongs to the latter. And for a time, it seemed that this uncertainty uh, was um, alive only on the semi-periphery. But in the modern times, it has changed, and the new development sort of shake, uh, shook the, the half-periphery and the center as well. So what happened? I used to uh, describe this as the change of the whole state of the world. It was a... Uh, uh, invented by Aristotle, and the, the, the phrase itself was written down by Hegel. Um, there were two concepts uh, in the prehistoric society. There were two Latin terms, fusis and nonus. There were two other concepts uh, described by Spinoza and Rousseau. Again, another dual concept was feudalism and capitalism. And folk and urban society and Gemeinschaft and Gesellschaft, these two dual concepts were typical. But afterwards, after the first such state of world, um, the, the first revolution was the invention of fire. And as Aristotle said, this will only change when spindles weave by themselves. That was the second revolution by Prometheus. And there were new uh, ideas introduced under the same concept, but with same name, with similar different names. Sorry, new capitalism, tourable capitalism, post-industrialism, and so on and so forth. Um, this concept or this process is neatly described in a book by Judy Jensen, and she talks about hybridization, but even more 
professionally, she calls it, she terms it as K-ordination to unite chaos and order in the same concept. This K-ordination makes an opportunity to make sure that the wealth is transferred to everybody, but it also describes the obstacles that hinder this process. What I would like to add is now we are in a position, in a situation where we have no friends, we have no uh, mates and fellows around us. Um, in the current state of the world, we are in love with democracy and we are also in love with autocracy. We are married to the former and we are in love with the latter. And it was due to Elamir Hankish that at the same time with the Western philosophers, he realized that we have come to the age of uncertainty and we don't know how to go on. Ferenc Mislibet agreed with this and he published a book with the title The Original uh, Accumulation of Crisis. And this is why Elamir decided to turn to philosophy because he believed that with the, uh, the, the simple words of crisis and, and economy, uh, the processes cannot be described. So he was looking for certainty, he was looking for for, for something, uh, but he simply realized that we are at a point, at a stage where, where, where you need to find a balance between certainty and uncertainty. It's an ingenious book, another um, proof of Elamir's value. We have lots of uh, social scientists here, but in some, I would like to say that in the past 40 years, he was one of the greatest spirit in the field of social sciences. He was the one who could talk about fantastically comprehensive issues. Well, he was, he did not receive the uh, attention that he would have received. So it's up to us that we continue his work. Ivan Vitani.